In this week's Mommy Minute, did you know the risk for lead poisoning rises in the summertime? When the weather is warm, windows are open, and home improvement projects are started, which can kick up lead dust. That's why it's important to be mindful of lead exposure in your child's play area. Making sure that the home is clean as best as we can in the areas where kids are playing on the floor. Um, and trying to reduce uh, other sources of lead exposure in the home. So again, you know, trying to keep our windows closed, repainting over any chipping paint, those types of things can help. Dr. Thakur says kids may also come into contact with lead if soil around the home or indoor flooring is contaminated with lead chips or dust from aging homes. It's important to keep in mind that any home built before 1978 could have lead paint and may be a risk. She says children under age six who have a tendency to put things in their mouths are of the greatest concern. That is because critical brain development happens at this age. Lead poisoning can have lifelong impacts on a child's brain, including decreased IQ and neurological delays. It can also cause bone growth issues and gastrointestinal problems. Symptoms of lead poisoning can be subtle, and that's why screening is so important. It may be just a change in behavior. It may be um, very vague complaints of abdominal pain or headaches or fatigue or something like that. And so often parents aren't coming in with specific concerns about lead poisoning. And this is why we do universal screening. So this is why we test every kid at ages one and two. Dr. Thakur recommends keeping kids away from and tarping off areas of the home that are being remodeled. It's also critical to hire lead safe certified contractors to ensure everything is handled and cleaned up properly. It is now 4:15.